Yeah, it's Pal TV. We're back again with Problem. We out of LA. Yeah, this time we at the house. <laughs> Cooking up some shit right here in the studio. Yeah. Some hot shit right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, you, what you got going on? Well, I'm working on the separation right now. That's my next tape. I'm not going to say who's putting it out, what's going on with it, but just know there will be a separation after it drops. I'm like, yo, gang, y'all know what it is, man. That's what I'm working on. That's my concentration right today. And just making music every day and staying positive and progressing at the same time. That's all it's about. Yo, it is crazy because I was popping so much shit about you on, nah, on nah, Twitter. And then, like, right after that, I didn't even know Cabin Fever 2 was dropping. Yeah. So then I see Cabin Fever, you got, like, millions of tracks <laughs> with Wiz. <laughs> like, how did that all start? Man, Wiz is my bro, man, and he blessed me with a dope opportunity, man, and and, and, and he laid it all out for me, man. I, ne I never, I never, I, I never thought that that would do this, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I, But I always knew that he would do that, you got to get what I'm saying? Yeah. He's a good nigga, so. Shout out to him, man. And we just, actually, that shit was so organic, man. We did all them songs in six days. I tell everybody that. And we did, it's about four to five. To, no, I just about ten more that didn't go on there. That's just what we did. So, that boy worked, man. Shout out to Wiz and the whole Taylor gang. Burner, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody took you, man. Juicy J, my nigga. Everybody, you know. Shout out to everybody. You got some crazy Wiz stories? <laughs> ah, yeah. This <laughs> motherfucker. We at his house. And we chilling, we churching, we talking about clothes, and we doing some shit with some clothes or whatever. We wear the same size, which is crazy. He's tall and skinny, I'm like, sure, just that is weird. But we doing that, and he's like, man, let's go to the mall. So I'm like, all right, I think we finna just hop in the car. And this nigga walks out the house, and we just start walking to the mall. And he's like, yes, yeah, it's one paparazzi dude is gonna be right there. He pops out. I'm like, nigga, you can't just be walking to the mall like this. He's like, nigga, he said, his, his thing is this. If he walk up with seven to eight niggas, everybody gonna look anyway. He got a better chance of moving like this. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we walked through that mall, the pandemonium was going on. We walked back and he was like, man, I gotta do that shit. I gotta do regular nigga shit just so I can keep my mind right. That was hilarious to me. Yeah. That's crazy. So, who else are we working on tracks with? Man, whoever's cool and just having fun and want to work with me, man, it's not really a thing like I want to go get him or I want to go get him. It's like, honestly, all my features have a real organic. I don't really do emails much. You just saw me email or something, but we've already worked, so it's a little different. Yeah. But I don't really do that. But it, people just been coming through. I've been falling through their spots, man. We just been working. I've just been cutting a lot of records because, you know what I'm saying, I understand that I'm about to get ready to be moving around a lot more. So I want to have all my music. I don't want to be one of the ones that... I get blessed with a, a two month tour, but I can't do music for two months. And mm -hmm. I'm just sitting there like, nah. So. Alright, so last interview we did, you was popping a lot of shit about the Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on with your team right now? We're, 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 still, we're still 16 champions, champions in. <laughs> I mean, with, okay, I want to know what championship was ever won in December. I want somebody, as soon as y'all get that info, tweet it to me. Hey, it's a problem. Who won the NBA championship in December? Go, quick. Just, I don't give a fuck about right now, man. We're a team. We grown for the win, baby. We for the long haul. We the, we the, tor we the tortoise. Let these rabbits jump out there, man. Y'all going to see what's going to happen. So what you think about them hiring Dan Tony? I'm with the move. I like I like it because Nash Nash needs the ball. He needs to control the offense. So, so I'm with it. He's comfortable with him, and I like this, I like the offense, the, the speed offense. I think right now everybody's just trying to figure out what to do and where they at. But when he get back, Nash is he's a general and he they, got his coach, so he'll be straight. They talking about trading Gasol. I heard that. What you think? I mean, you know, you know, those executive uh, executive decisions are not in my control. I'm gonna <laughs> like whoever's on the Lakers. I like Pal. Like what he's doing, you know, maybe, you know, everybody, everything runs its course. So, before, you was like how Rihanna was tweeting your, uh, yeah. <laughs> your lyrics. Have you caught anyone else uh, tweeting your lyrics? Crazy Chris Brown, just Instagram, huh? Nigga, <laughs> what? He just did that. Shout out to him, too. Yeah, that was, that was, that was crazy. I don't be looking on that side. Like, I really be like, okay. You know how people be usually on their mentions? I like looking at the timeline. It'd be funny yeah. to see people talking and what they be talking about. That shit is like, I'm a people watcher, so that's like funny to me. So 
So, but if I catch a mention and I see something cool, you know, I try to retweet it, though, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't really been, like, on it to look. I like when people, when they do it, though, I be like, oh, shit, that's crazy. This shit getting out of here, you know? Yeah. All right, so it's the end of the year, mm -hmm. and, like, all the New York Twitter heads, they always, like, this is the time they... they they speculate on who's gonna be on the next freshman cover, Double XL. Right. You're not really a freshman, but your name's probably gonna be like circulating that. Mm -hmm. You think you should be on that cover? I mean, that's really on them. I, all my my things just I'm gonna keep working hard and pushing Diamond Lane Music Group and League of Stars to the next level. That's what my job is. I can't focus on if they're gonna give me the accolades of being the freshman. Of the year, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. That's not in my all. I, all I can control is what goes on in this booth. I tried my best to control that, and hopefully, you know, I would, I would, I would jump at the opportunity. I think that'd be dope, be dope for my family to see uh, us as a label and a company, as an independent company. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against it. So how long are we gonna stay indie? Shit, all this money keep coming out, it's coming, man. I really ain't wanting for nothing. So like signing this, signing this is. When I say this, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about what I'm representing and, and the company as a whole, man. We talking about Tom and Lane Music Group, Home of Problem and Bad Luck, Monster CEO, Fast Lane. And we talking about League of Stars, platinum selling producers in one year, man. We, I mean, we, we got to come. We a package deal. This ain't no motherfucking, you t nah, so it's going to be a lot. We just going to keep working. All right, cool. So I interviewed Schoolboy Q like... <sighs> months ago like two months ago and i was like yeah i interviewed problem two months ago he started laughing he's like yeah that's my nigga problem right there <laughs> like how y'all two know each other hey man you know we know each other man you know we we we, we spent we spent quite a few days together man i'm just gonna say that man shout out to my <laughs> boy doing this stuff man you nigga out there killing it too man we talked about this type shit you remember that man <laughs> Oh uh, man, like Kendrick's your boy too. What you oh, yeah. what you think about his success right now? Like, I love it. I love it. Authentic Compton nigga doing it the real way. He gave it to him the way he wanted to give it to him. And that's that represents so much more, you get what I'm saying, than anything. And they did it the way they they did it their way. I fuck with them. Everybody at T D E man, I fuck with their own movement. And just kind of, with Kendrick being a, a somebody that's from out of my neighborhood, it's, it's like a double special thing, you know what I'm saying? Salute to him, man, his family, everybody.